All right, so I'm going to give you a video, and if you have you hopefully found this video by clicking on video instruction. So I'm going to actually have these this one video to explain these three items because each doesn't require its own video, and I think this should work fine. When in future weeks, and I'll modify this this text to be consistent. Um, what you'll see is if a video requires more content, uh, more instruction, then I will do individual ones. But in this week, this is one of those weeks when it doesn't. Okay, so this is the second week of the semester. Our 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 second, uh, sorry, our first uh, Lynda.com lecture. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and click in here and show you the content that I've provided, at least as far as what you need to do. I've provided a link to the Lynda login for um, the Fresno County Library. Um, there's there's so many important topics in um, the lecture, but HTTP is definitely one. So what I want you to do here is I want to teach you something that you may not have seen before about how to look at the res at the res at the resulting HTTP conversation and some more information about it. And I want you to do this by selecting two sites that are familiar. Um, I don't know if Bing and Google uh, search are good comparison, but you know, something that's kind of in the same area. Um, and I want you to take a print screen of the results um, of each result and embed, re embed in your reply. And if you don't know what embed is, go back and look at um, week one where I show you how to do the embeds. You have to upload the files. And remember, these files would then go into your public so that everyone can see them. Okay, so that's just the process. So now let me show you how to do this. So here's Fresno City College and here's Merced College. And so what I want to do is I want to anywhere in here and there's multiple ways to get into developer tools. I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit inspect. So wherever I've clicked inspect, it actually takes me to that place in the HTML. So this was the result, the resources that came to my computer as a result of that HTTP request. And we're going to look more at this later. What I want you to look at for this assignment is the network tab. Okay. So again, at the top, uh, I think I showed you this, but I fed it and you can look at this as uh, mobile devices. So you can uh, emulate in a sense the idea of looking at it like on my phone, what it would look like. You can just look at it responsive. That part doesn't matter for this assignment. What matters is over here on the network. So in the network, if you don't see anything, that's okay. All you do is hit refresh here, right? And so there's a lot of things that result that meaning the response to this request to go to this domain and the conversation with the server through the HTTP request renders all of these resources to my computer. And what you can do is just kind of poke around in here and you, he's talked a little in the lecture about the get and uh, the header. This is the headers. You can do a preview if you want the response time, but I just kind of want you to poke around and compare probably the, the, the infra piece of information you could easily compare is the number of requests like this took 126 requests. So in it took 126 individual files and some are CSS, some are uh, JavaScript, and you can tell that by the extension, right? So just kind of look around. You can see that Fresno City College is using jQuery, which, you know, we think is going away, but it hasn't. They're using Bootstrap. So it, and the uh, transfer 504 megabytes, and here's how quickly it finished. So, you know, I just want you to do some kind of comparison, look at these numbers, think about them. Maybe if you need some help, ask for it, but really just kind of looking at this. So then you take that print screen and we'll just talk about that in a second, a little bit, but you'll take that print screen, right? It doesn't matter where you take it as long as you take it. Now on Merced, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go into inspect, right? Again, it drops me into uh, the HTML. Uh, the rendered HTML, the rendered DOM. Uh, t t these are um, terms you'll hear in the future. And then you go into network again. And this one, because I haven't refreshed it since I was last there, if I just refresh it, um, this comes down. Um, and you can, uh, actually there's different ways to look at this tree, right? You can actually look at it on overview. Um, 
you know, there's just different ways. Again, the idea here is just to start learning how to read or how to get familiar with this part, because we're going to hopefully teach you several parts of DevTools before you're through here. Okay. All right. So uh, this one had 64 requests, 11.5 kilobytes transferred, and you can see how quickly it finished. And because when I click here, that's when it shows you the headers and it cuts off off some of the information so you can just kind of look at that so one thing i would say in comparison is that merced has a much faster website and with not even look at anything else just the amount of request and the amount of transfer that happens and you can see it loaded in and this is probably a reload reloads are typically quicker uh, let's go look at cities real quick just to look at that so 2.75 seconds versus 769 milliseconds so much much quicker okay so um and again it's not to that you would have to conclude on why this is case just this is just kind of information so you take your print screen uh, in this case you would go to your public repo okay so let's go to here uh, and then this is where you would upload your files go into your images and again refer back to the other print screen or the other week for how to embed them but what you want to do here is embed them uh, into um, your reply. Now I'm not going to make um, replies due on this item because we're going to do two on the next one, right? So actually I'll take off this because um, this is the video walking you through it. Okay, so that's your lecture and your current top, your hands-on. The last item for this one is Learn++. Plus Plus. And this is where we're going to take the concepts that you were introduced to in this first lecture, uh, section one and two. And I want you to do a little more research, okay? So um, this is a little bit of a dated, but again, I think it's great fundamental knowledge, a classic, we'd call it. So I want you to select a topic from the le lecture, and each student needs to select a different topic. And you might wonder, well, what constitutes a topic? So you could either, because each video could have multiple topics, or you could go after a general topic like JavaScript because God knows that's changed a lot. Front end design, uh, web web server basics. I mean, any of this, or really, and I'm and I hope you watch this before you go through this lecture because this would be good for you to do as you're actually going through the lecture itself. Anatomy of a URL. Wait, uh, some of this still is true, but domains have definitely changed in the sense that. We now have different top level domains, uh, how browsers work, basically the same, but now we have different types uh, of browsers, even though I think the ones he mentions here are still very popular. Um, APIs, HTML5. So again, there's just so much here, but I want you all each to select a different topic. And then if you want to reserve that topic, right, just go ahead and hit a reply here saying the topic I've selected is, and then indicate, right, the section and the uh, video that you're uh, using. And if you're using a subtopic in there, write that as well, okay? So then research the topic, right? And research it and find res uh, information from at least 20, you know, no later than this time last year, so uh, August, uh, 2017 to August 2018 so find something current about this topic because these there's a lot that even though it's introducing you to the basics of that concept there's a lot of different things that we've learned we've added services we've added products I mean there's just so much that you could add to this concept right and so the idea is that you're uh, really taking what you've learned been introduced to and you're taking it to the next level and then you're sharing it so I want you to research the topic, write a short summary uh, of it, uh, how it may or may not, and I'm guessing has changed, and then provide links to the results of your research findings. So if you had a video that helped you from YouTube, click to that. If you had an article, you know, uh, click to that or uh, put links to that. So just to show you, because I've showed you embedded links last time, but just if you were looking at a YouTube video, and you wanted to say, let's say DNS. All right, so let's go, let's see, that's six years, I can't use that. Two years ago, nope, 12 months ago. Okay, so maybe what I would do is watch this one. This one's kind of the cutoff, right? So if I was to look at this and think, yeah, that's a video I think would be relevant. And part of it is just first you watching it and understanding it and see if that's something you wanna share.
If it is, right, then come over here, click share. And there's two ways you can do this. You can either copy the link or embed it like we've been doing other things. And the benefit of the embed link, I'll do both. But the benefit of the embed link is somebody doesn't have to go outside of Canvas to go watch it. So it just makes it a little easier. So I'm going to switch to the HTML editor here and I'll do that, right? So that embeds the video in here. Uh, but if you want to do a direct link, um, then you can do that. And I'll just, I, I, what I did is I came in here and I hit a return. That won't matter. Uh, what I'll show you is if you come down here and I'm going to make my uh, browser and I'm going to click right here and it puts a little indicator uh, in cursor and then I can say direct link. Um, and that's where I could just grab this uh, and I'll get out of here and I could just grab this link up here uh, or I could grab the shortened one here which is just this one right here that's a shortened uh, one I could just grab that one go back over to here click and drag and you would put some content here near the video uh, title or something like that HTML oh sorry in here you could actually write the HTML totally do that but until you learn it you could just link to the URL and hit insert and you could do give it an alt tag that's always great um, and there we go and so and what you can see here and I'll just hit a post real quick because this won't be one that you'll use uh, let's see there it is oh somehow it went up here that's the video oh actually that's interesting let me go back in and edit that and see what happened oh yeah I had the link let's try that again should have went right there link to the HTML maybe because it was a YouTube it actually tried to oh that time it worked I must just click somewhere else so then what I could do here jump into the HTML get rid of that one in the top and again it doesn't hurt don't be scared of dropping into the HTML because even before you learn HTML you can see based on how you've created this content um, how to get rid of it like if that P opening P closing P tag if I wanted to get rid of it that's the video tag and then under here so just to complete here uh, under here so that's just how you do it uh, the other part is I want you to write 150 words about this and do two replies to your uh, fellow student post and make them substantive replies so because I didn't have replies on the last one I want you to do replies on this one okay all right, so just to be clear, you have this is your first item due in the second week. You have a lecture. Uh, you'll submit your uh, GitHub private uh, link to that file. You'll have two uh, print screens you'll submit for the HTTP. Did I ask you to do any writing? Yeah, I want you to do a little writing here uh, just about what you're, you found as a comparison of those two. And then on this one, uh, this is where you're going to find your topic do a little more research and then give us links to what you found. Okay, hope this video helps you out and I'll start working on Thursday.